Angie, thanks for joining us on WQA Radio. Great to catch up with you and to talk about your specialty events and the WQA convention and exposition coming up in March. So welcome to the program. Thanks so much for having me. It's great to be here. I thought we'd begin, Angie, with just a little bit of kudos to you and your team on the great mid-year leadership conference that uh, we had in September in Lake Tahoe, a tremendous event. Oh, thank you so much. Yeah, we're we're still recovering and thrilled to have had a successful event, um, excited to have rolled out a new strategy for that event, really engaging opportunity for our members and for the industry. And um, my team naturally is always uh, looking forward to the tweaks that we can make um, in the future um, and to next year. So anybody who might have missed it, we're, we're always looking to improve and moving on to bigger and better. But the feedback from this year was was overwhelmingly positive. So we're thrilled. Excellent. Excellent. All right. And, and before we get into convention and, and again, the convention coming up in March and we want to get all the details, but. I want to set the stage by asking you to put your just your overall industry hat on for a second. Give us a sense of how the events industry is doing these days. Yeah, so events is my career. Um, it's it's been in my blood for a very long time at this point, and I've seen a lot of ups and downs over the last thirty plus years. And um, the events world is definitely in an upswing right now. It's exciting time to be in events, but it's also challenging. Demand is higher than ever across the board in all the destinations that we might look at for our events. Um, the venues are um, seeing record demand. So that makes uh, it challenging for us and my team to make sure that we're getting into the right places and at the right price points. You know, it's basic supply and demand economics. When demand is high, that means pricing is up as well. So my team is constantly working hard to contain our costs. Um, for our members, for our attendees, for our exhibitors. Um, So that's a constant challenge, but it's a good problem to have. It means the events industry is really thriving right now. Yeah. And I I think, you know, we still have this, uh, this context of the pandemic. Are we kind of, are we back to where we were before the pandemic? Is, Is there a way of knowing that? You know, it's interesting. All the, the analytical folks who study the trends in events, um, we'll pretty much tell you right now that we're we're back, but we're in a different way. We we reinvented events coming out of the pandemic, and we're really very much focused on quality over quantity. Um, while the quantity is there, obviously based on the demand, but we're also very much focused on quality and um, how do we make our events better, and how do we make every interaction. Um, the best it can be and deliver the most ROI for all the stakeholders. So in that respect, yeah, we're actually, we're actually better, but from a, from a supply and demand standpoint um, and, and a quantity standpoint, we're there in terms of the number of events, the number of participants is comparable and different, better actually, we think at this point. So it's the, it's the silver lining to the pandemic maybe. Yeah, I think I think so. And I think the Mid-Year Leadership Conference, to go back to that, showed again how there is a demand to get together, right? Yeah. There, we, we realized as good as Teams and, and, and uh, all of the other programs, Zoom and whatnot are, that there's just no really uh, replacing the idea of face-to-face contact. Yeah, 100%, especially when it comes to trade shows. We knew at the beginning of the pandemic that we could we could get by with some of the virtual events, um, but when it comes to trade shows, boy, nothing nothing replaces that in-person experience when it comes to a trade show. All right, so let's talk about 2024 for the WQA convention and exposition. What are we looking forward to? Well, the, the convention is earlier than it's been in quite some time. So it's, it's creeping up on all of us, certainly my team, um, but I think on our exhibitors and our attendees as well. It's going to creep up being that first week of March. We're back in Orlando, excited to be back um, in Orlando in the Orange County Convention Center. Um, and it's, it's right around the corner. It's coming up on us. So my team is, is full steam ahead. No rest for the weary at this point. 
And so registration is opening as we record this. It's opening soon, uh, late October. And um, just kind of step us through what people will see as they go to the convention website. That's w. Yeah, wqa.org slash convention. Um, just give us some of the uh, details that people can expect. Um, so we'll be rolling out the, the high-level schedule at a glance so you can start planning your travel. Make sure it's on your calendar. Um, we know that taking time away from uh, everybody's business is key. So um, we'll give you a schedule at a glance. You'll be able to um, register. You'll be able to book your hotel. Um, Speaking of demand in the industry, we know that Orlando is a very popular popular spot for destinations. So um, getting your hotel booked is going to be key. We will have 10 different hotels in our room block to choose from at all different price points, all different um, brands, so that you can meet your needs by booking directly through us. Um, we expect that prices in the city during that time are going to be very high. So we've secured some, um, some great rates. So that will be all available right when we when we launch. Yeah, let me just interject here. So the idea here is don't try to go it alone. Don't go out there looking for your room. And obviously, we know there are a lot of hotels in Orlando, right? We understand yeah. that. But the WQA uh, room rates have been already predefined, prearranged. Help us understand the advantage of that. Yeah, so we have buying power with, with our large group of, of folks. So we have good buying power. Um, we've vetted the hotels. As a matter of fact, two weeks from right now, I will be or in Orlando checking out the, those hotels again, setting foot in every one of them to make sure that they're meeting our standards. Um, we will be running shuttle from any that are not a very short walk or connected to the convention center. So we'll be running a shuttle bus. So by booking in our hotels, you're avoiding the extra time and the extra cost of potential transportation getting between your hotel and the convention center. Any hotel that is in walking distance right there at the convention center, we have rooms there at our pre-negotiated rates. And we have guarantees in our contracts that we have the lowest available rates. In our hotels, you won't find lower published rates out there. So we get that with, with our buying power. Other hotels in the area, you might be able to find a very lower quality hotel that's going to be a short drive away, but then you're 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 risking quality and you're also um, taking on extra transportation costs. So we aim to be a one stop shop so that we can um, meet the needs of of our participants, get it all done right in our website all at one time. Book your airfare if you need to fly in, and you're ready to go. Yeah, and uh, there is an advantage in booking early, is there not? There is. Certainly, you can get into your preferred hotel because some of them will sell out quickly um, and it is first come, first serve. So, um, you know, you want to get in there to get your choice of rooms. And I understand we'll have an advanced pricing for the convention registration as well. Yep, we do. Um, there's three tiers of pricing. So the sooner you register, the lower your price is then you get into standard pricing and then um, there's a, it, the pricing goes up again if you wait until registering on site. So the sooner the better on all of it. Maybe I should have asked this question earlier, but um, who should attend? Who should be thinking about coming to this convention? So if you are um, a water treatment professional, um, there's something for you there. Um, whether you need to find new, um, new suppliers, new manufacturing partners to work with, they're there. If you need continuing education for you and for your team, that's there. Whether that education pertains to technical education to maintain your certification, for example, or business operations. If you just need, um, you need help with HR, you know, hiring and retention across the world right now is challenging in all industries. So if you need information on hiring and retention, you need information on marketing your small business, we've got education for you there. And then, of course, the trade show is the focal point um, for you to meet with um, and find new vendors, new supplier partners. And then, of course, everyone loves the networking aspects. And we're, again, in two weeks, I'll be right down in Orlando beginning in earnest, the planning for our networking event, our big reception that we're going to have right there at the convention center. Um, so that's the fun part of it that uh, that everybody gets to have as well. 
Well, we couldn't have a convention without the exposition floor, right? And I understand that that has been um, it filling up fast. So yeah. why don't you tell us about the situation uh, regarding the exhibitors? Yeah, it's going gangbusters. We're so excited about it. Um, actually, when we left this past year's convention in April in Las Vegas, um, we already had the show floor 80% sold. Um, and now as we speak, let's see, I haven't looked at it this morning, but um, as we speak right now, we are in the neighborhood of 95 plus percent sold. So my team's working diligently on the opportunity to add some extra space. We do have the space to grow this year. Um, we're not confined um, too terribly much. So we've got the space to grow. We can meet the demand right up until the last minute. But, you know, same message applies here. Booth space is going fast. Um, the floor plan is looking amazing at this point. So um, a lot of times we talk about when we're on the East Coast or when we're in Florida, sometimes we draw a different audience because of accessibility. That, that's not proving to be true as far as the exhibitors go this year. We're really drawing from all over the world on our show floor and all across the U.S. So it's not just Eastern U.S. dominant. It's still very much international and um, throughout the U.S. So the demand is definitely there from our exhibitors as well. Yeah, you mentioned the international. That really made a big comeback in 2023. Yeah. So we saw that we can only expect it to grow from there, right? Yeah, it's solid. Um, the international exhibitors who booked with us in 23 already rebooked for 24 before we even left Las Vegas this past year, and it continues to grow. Now, the convention is, again, March 5, 6, and 7, 2024. It's in Orlando. Again, everybody understands that. WQA.org slash convention. That's the place to go. Um, register, get your hotel, et cetera. But there's also going to be some pre-convention education uh, as well, correct? Yep. That uh, just had a meeting with the team yesterday. That is coming together really nicely. We have... Um, our WQA boot camp, business boot camp that we've had for a number of years now, that's being held again. Their focus this year is HR topics. Again, the very hot topic of hiring and retention. Um, one of the speakers who's, who's going to be at boot camp is someone I've actually known for a number of years and worked with in the past. Um, folks are going to love him. He, he delivers really challenging material in a fun and accessible way. Um, so boot camp's going to be really awesome. And then um, coming back for a second year is um, the WQRF Scientific Symposium. So that's going to be really the science side of things and very forward looking. Um, and that is coming together. Those are both full day sessions running concurrently on uh, the Monday before the convention. And you'll be able to register for those oh, right along with your convention registration. Correct. Right. And that'll all launch at the same time um, uh, via our website. All right. So hang on to your seats. Uh, the time is going to fly by. We are so looking forward to March 5, 6, and 7. Well, actually, 4, 5, 6, and 7 in Orlando. Thanks, Angie. Anything else you want to add before we leave? Uh, we're so excited and looking forward to seeing everyone there. We're looking, uh, can't wait for record crowds. So definitely Great. be there. All right, Angie Silberhorn, WQA Events Director, with us on WQA Radio. Thanks, Les.